currently on his way to the cage. He's got Mike Ward Jones, and that is a mountain of a man. You know, I've known uh, Matt Gerritsen for a long time. The guy's been in the fight game a long time, and he's a tough, tough guy. I mean, he beat, uh, I think, well, George Euler actually might have beat him in kickbox, and that's how old those guys are. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so they, they've been in in a while. But, you know, in the same thing, Matt, I think, recently was over 300 and some pounds. He's got his body weight back down. I think this is what motivated him to get back in there, and uh, the guy loves the fight. Right. Just like everybody on these cards, they all love the fight. Absolutely. <laughs> And this is uh, the beginning of NLC's kickboxing Grand Prix. It's first bout. This will be interesting. You can see there Mike Ward Jones wearing the special Grand Prix gloves. Matt's got some pretty good hands. Um, he's far a lot at our gym. It's surprising. He like he would put a lot of people down with some body shots. He's got a good liver shot. Uh, so that's another thing to keep an eye out for. Because I like you know looks like maybe Michael's got a soft middle midsection. Maybe maybe not. It's a big one. I don't know. Yeah, if it's saying, it, uh, it might help him out there. Uh, yeah. Garrison's got some good body shots. Now, is it just me or does Garrison look a little bit leaner than he looked at the I line? thought, I thought the same uh, thing, honestly. Yeah, yeah, and, that, and, and that's because what I said, he's, he's working hard. Like, he's still on his Instagram, he doesn't train with us, but I've, I've been watching, and I'm, I'm very impressed. I mean, he, he got really overweight for a while. A lot of fighters do when you quit fighting, but you just need something to do. You get that dopamine rush, but even I'm one of them. I feel personally and, attacked. <laughs> <laughs> it all happens, man. We need something, right? Uh, but he's got his motivation back. His Instagram's filled with him working out all the time, so... You know, I props mean, to him. I, I agree with you, Colin. He looks to be leaner and even in better shape than the last time. So it'll be exciting to see what he puts together here. You know, surprising. He used to fight for us at 170, and he was oh, going to wow. cut to 155. Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we are second bout on the main card. We have a pro heavyweight kickboxing match. Actually, this is the first match in the heavyweight pro kickboxing grand the winner of this match will fight right here on November 9th to continue in that Grand Prix. Fighting out of the blue corner from Warsaw, Virginia, by way of Hampton, Virginia, representing Play Society Warsaw, Michael Moore Like it? No shin guards? Yep. It's time to see some heavy action with these two big heavyweights. I think uh, the first one to get caught slipping here is going to get really hurt. It's going be interesting. So we've got southpaw versus orthodox. You can Garrison's see. got really good leg kicks in that southpaw stance. Yeah, and he's looking at him uh, already being light on the front leg. If yeah, you see there, you can kind of see Matt telegraph his, his kick there. Yeah, almost like he was using it like a fake. Yeah. A good kick up the middle by Jones. It's good heavy left by Matt too, though. <clears throat> Ooh, heavy leg kick there from Garrison. Answered uh, back from nice Jones. Nice right. Yeah, big right hand over the top. It didn't land cleanly though. Jones moves well for a big fellow. He does. Both yeah, nice I mean, little side kick there. And he's switching stance. Looks like he's got a little karate background or something there, too, right? It looks like he kind of trying to bait Garretson into doing something here. Garretson's doing a good job of intercepting with that outside leg right here. A lot of times you hear that slap. It's not as good as what you think, right? right. That means there's a lot of foot there. You want to hear that thud or almost no sound at all. Yeah. Good check there by Garretson. Yeah, you definitely can see a difference in leg kicks, right? Um when Michael throws his, it seems like Matt's been able to check them all or at least get out of the way. And most of Matt's kicks have lands. Yeah, 
He's given a lot of different looks at that front foot. But you notice that hand drop in there? That's not good. Yeah. I'm sure Matt will pick up on that. You know, he's he's had a lot of boxing fights, a lot of kickboxing fights, a lot of MMA fights. He's he's a grizzled vet. And Jones has some big power. Absolutely. Something looks strange with Jones. I'm not sure if he's irritated or what happened. Yeah, there. I think he's. I heard him say something, and uh, something happened. I almost wonder too that if he's doing that to kind of bait, bait him, that in because he wants to land the punches, right? Mm -hmm. It seems like he's more interested in throwing hands than the kicks, whereas but, Garrettson's happy to stay at kicking range. Yeah, but that switch in his stance is kind of taking that power away from his hands. So right. Yeah, it's interesting. See, let's, uh, it's an interesting strategy. We'll figure it out. It looks like he's trying to avoid the kick to the front leg there. And that's why he almost looks like a stance switch. Oh, good yeah. outside leg kick again. He's doing a good job doing that with the front leg. You know, I think they show a sign of respect there, meaning that Matt knows he hurt his leg. He's over there talking to his corner. But I think, I think you're right. I think those leg kicks are hurting a little bit more than we think. And maybe that's why he switches his stance a lot. Because he's not offering a lot of offense other than switching his stance. Right. right? Um, I think it's just to avoid that front leg kick. Well, it's a tight first round, Butch. How do you see that one going? I'd say definitely uh, Gerritsen on that one. By definitely, just, he was more active. Right, I was going to say activity. Yeah. Yeah. And it was more like, again, where I'm just trying to figure out the switching stance because nothing's coming off of it. Right. right. So I don't, I don't know if he's hurt, if he's using it to bait him in. I'm not sure, but it's... It's kind of giving the round away, right? A little bit, yeah. You always wonder how many southpaws does, does Michael Jones have to work with, too. Maybe he's used to switching stances whenever guys are southpaw to make them uncomfortable, yeah. but he's not fighting somebody who's not normally a southpaw or somebody that switches stance. Matt Garrettson is a true southpaw. Yeah, and this is uh, uh, Browning's gym in there. They He's another uh, legend from Madison. They've all, I think he used to train with Chance you grill it back in the day. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's a, a state police or a police officer out there, but just now started a gym, so this might be one of their first fights out there. Let's see if he, uh, if Michael opens up a little bit more this round. He, but again, he, he, to your point, that's actually a great way to put it. He does just look irritated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it's just something's off, right? As we see a jab right hand from Jones. I mean, that's powerful, though. Mm -hmm. Another little clipping right hand. That a push, but... Mm, that would have been a nice... Jones uh, just out of the way. Yeah. And he respects it. Buddy, definitely more active. Just that, that jab to the body is just not very effective. You know, that he's, he's setting up a lot. Did a good job getting out of the way of the kick there. There you oh, go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hand. Definitely more active this round. Ooh, nice right. There's the kicks coming from Jones there. Great hand from Jones. Yeah, this is you can see him opening up here now. Yeah, it's almost like now. he was just kind of playing with him a little bit, maybe letting him wear himself down. Yeah, because he's definitely he's looks like he has more. his confidence back. Yep. Even now, I mean, he's getting out of the way of the kick now, mm -hmm. which he didn't really do in the first round. Something just seems like it clicked with him this round. Touches him with the jab. Yeah. The jab to the body. But he does it's a much better job just, when he blitzes, right? Yeah, it's literally almost like Jones literally just wants him to bait him in there, and yeah. then he explodes on him. Yep. Interesting. Let him work in the clinch a little bit there. Yep. But uh, it's hard for Matt to get his arms around. Yeah. Big fella. Yeah. Nice, nice leg kick. kick. But he's, he's still kind of got out of the way. Might have hit his knee there. Yeah, I was going to say, and it was all toes. It's just an entirely different round, meaning like he was just getting leg kicked after leg kick the first round. Now he's, he's getting out of the way. That was a good one, too, by Michael Ward Jones that led us back into this corner. This is a lot of ring generalship, too. Right? Mm -hmm. he's, he's dominating the, the playing field here. I mean, this goes a long way with the judges. Ooh, that's a good check. Yeah. yeah. And again, I like it. 
he's putting the weight on him, yep. making him carry it. That's what a big and man needs to do. And that's what I was saying. Maybe he just played the first round off. Yeah. It's an interesting style to give a whole round away. Yeah, <laughs> so, for so sure. Yeah. But it's like he's a different it guy. A, it is a four-round fight, so. Yeah, he's a different guy now. And then maybe Matt's taking a round off, right? He Could look be, the same yeah. Here. I don't know that you want to hang in the clinch and let Jones hit you like that. But. No, and this is different. So like we saw the, the clinch there with Kuhn and Chance, and those little rabbit punches didn't really make any noise. These are like, boom. These, These boys, are big, boom. big fellas. Yeah. Man, he's checking them now. I mean, yep. It's just a whole different guy. Yeah. It's amazing. Ooh, nice those body, body shot. shots you were talking about. Yeah. yeah. That was a good one right there. They dig him. Great round there. Now that yeah. round, I think, goes to uh, I, I was going to say Jones, Jones yeah. yeah. It's good. Good. That's, I like to see that. I mean, it, you know, I want to see a good fight. That's what we're here for. That was very good for both the guys. So now we'll see if uh, Matt makes any adjustments. He, you know, I feel like he kind of dominated the first round. Uh, I feel like he definitely lost the second. I feel like the, the corner's kind of telling him now to go to the body a little bit. Yeah. But I don't know if I'd abandon the leg kicks, right? It's just, they were working. He just, the difference is maybe set them up with some punches, throw a jab, then yep. throw a leg kick, right? I've never been a huge, unless you got a super fast kick, I think you should always set up your set kicks with punches, right? Be an interesting round. It's exciting. Both guys look like they have a lot of energy. I mean, they're not too breathing too hard, yep. which is good for. I mean, guys of this size. Yeah, impressive. Ooh. Matt goes for a side kick out the gate there. Yeah. When he gets met with an uh, There they go. There's the there's the body shots. The differences in this round already that Matt's not uh, letting him get bullied around. Yeah. He's fighting back. And he's a strong fella, right? He might not be this as big, you know, physically, but he is definitely a strong fella. Ooh, that's a good nice. left check by Matt Gerson. Mike on the kick there. Nice check. Yeah, that was a good body shot again. He's, he's starting to... And that's the thing with being left-handed. He can really lay in those liver shots. Mm -hmm. Well, Matt's starting to stay a little more active in the clinch now. He's realizing the ref's going to let him kind of work out of it. Yeah. So and to that point, See? it Ooh. almost does look like Matt maybe took that other round off. He's a different fighter this oh. round, right? Get a low blow there, I guess. Well, what this will do for a heavyweight is give him a lot of time to yep. rest. Garrison looks like he's doing some yoga over there, taking some breaths. That's what I was thinking. Some uh, makeshift Ram Muay Thai, right? Yeah. Uh, interesting side yeah. note is... Uh, By the way, Jones shouldn't be in his corner while he's... No, he should not. No. Right? Neither one. Virtual. Yeah, both of them shouldn't. Ref ain't saying nothing, though. But Rick Pittman started that MMA playing card game way back in the day, and I think Matt Garrison was the focus of much of that game. Like, he was on the back of all the cards, I think, and... I don't know how that card game is going now, but it was a big thing. I think he's still while. working on it. Yeah, it was kind of a neat idea. It is a neat idea. Nice kick to the middle there by Matt. Mike Jones a little bit yeah. working up in the clinch here. I think that was a big difference there. Matt's using some of that MMA background. He twisted him that way, turned him right there on the underhook. Yeah, he's engaged him a little bit more in the clinch here. Yeah. He just got bullied the second round, and now he, oh, he's woke up. Nice, uh, yeah, left. nice over yeah. the top there. Yep. Look, he can't – Michael can't turn him. But you see the difference, though, with Matt turning him and doing what he's doing. He's a little gassed now. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah, it's uh, – Big man to be I moving around. I was going to say, it's a big fella to try to move around. That's another good leg kick. Oh, but that second nice body check. shot. Oh, oh and now Mike's oh. getting him. Putting that weight on him. Matt's definitely a little bit hurt. I'm sure it hurts your back hitting that cage like that. Oh, yeah. All that weight. Oh, nice leg kick there. He did take the, the sting off it by lifting his leg. Uh, he's done a great job after that first round of, of not taking those full-on leg kicks. 
not really many knees thrown by either one of these gentlemen yet. No. That's what I thought was interesting. Like, that, those, these clinches they're getting in, they'd be perfect shots for knees. Yeah, that's a good side kick. Nice side kick there from Matt. Good, good job staying on the inside and stopped all those punches from landing. Those are good and hard shots for Matt. They just didn't find a home. So you heard that whole cage move. Yeah. Right? That's, uh, Mm. There's a nice little short uppercut there from yeah. Mike Jones. It's going to be a tough round to score. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I feel like it was early Garrettson, late Michael. Uh, I, feel like, I feel like Garrettson landed more shots, but again, the power, I think, went to, to Jones. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. the most significant moment of the fight was when he drove him back to the corner over here with a series of straight punches. It's true. And, yeah, you're right. Those punches landed good. Um, it was more, and then, yeah, the more of a blitz him. Uh, didn't do a lot of damage, but I'm sure it hurt his back when they hit the cage, right? Yeah. But they were probably the best two punches landed of that round. Those Absolutely. would be good to see on a replay if they had it, but those, uh, yeah, they're most significant rounds or punches of that round for sure. Neither guy looks that tired. No, these are professional. Pretty, as I said, yeah. they're good, large men, but they're professional. Pretty good taste yeah. for these guys. That, I don't know if you had the same experience, Butch, but I definitely had that where the older I got, the more I realized that not getting tired in a fight had nothing to do with how many sprints you can do. It's, it's how much energy you're just hemorrhaging when you yep. don't need to during a fight. Yeah, I think uh, GSP was really good in late talking about that. It's like your efficiency and managing that energy, yeah. right? That's that's really what it came down to. I mean, it, and perhaps in, he was so cerebral, he could think through that whole thing, right? But that it really is about it. It's efficiency. Like, you don't need to be throwing things that are not doing anything. You need to know where you're relaxed, uh, where you can breathe. And these guys know that, right? They... Uh, and here we yeah. are, our final round of this first opening bout of the Grand Prix. It's going to be, I mean, it could really come down to this round. It could even make it a draw, right? Yeah, I, I mean, agree. Which wouldn't be good for the bracket. No. But <laughs> yeah. They'd have to flip a coin at that point, I think. Huh? Probably even run it back. Yeah. Yeah, that would be my guess. Oh, big shots from Ward Jones there. You know, and this is good. And, like, again, I don't know how the judges do it, but how, how much they um, take an effect a leg kick, right? A lot of people right. just don't know how to score that. Like, we know as kickboxers how bad that hurts and how damaging that is, but it is just one kick uh, compared to punches to the face, which you're used to seeing, right? Absolutely. It's just one of those things right now where, you know, each guy kind of has their preferences, you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like there needs oh, to be a more definite. Oh, man, big heat now. Great body shots by Garrison. Garrison's grimacing, though, too. What's wrong with him? Oh, oh. Oh, man. Yeah. But Garrison's Throwing digging some bangers deep. now. Yep, he's digging deep. Two minutes remaining. Both of these gentlemen want to win this fight. Yeah, they, they want it. They want it. Look at them. They're digging deep, both of them. They, now they're tired. Yeah, you but can now, see it now. Yeah. Oh, there's a knee e. finally. I'd like to see another knee from either yeah. one of them. Yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. These clinches are perfect for knees. Look at how far back they are. Either guy could land a good one right here. Especially when they're both starting to tire. Mm -hmm. right? That's when knees are the worst. Good leg kick and entry by Garrettson. He did a good job staying off the cage there, right? Yeah, Ward Jones was not about to let that happen that time. I feel like at this point, if he gets his back against the cage, Garrettson's Ooh. just going to unload. Garrison did a good job, you know, switching him with the underhook right there. We've got one minute remaining here in this bout. Garrison did a good job, too, of kind of smothering him, putting yeah. out that fire by pressure. Mike Jones appears to be quite tired at this point. Oh, big shot from Garrison there. Yeah. I've seen the spit fly across the ring. Yep. And right now, Jones just can't get the distance to land anything. We are closing in on the final 30 seconds of this match. Oh, he's purposely trying to hold him there. Ref did a good job breaking it up. He physically grabbed the cage to try to hold him there. Here Which we means go. he's tired. They're both tired. Oh, yeah. It's heavy pace, you know. Yeah. Both men leaning on each other. We go watch that liver shot by Garrettson there. And the reason he's not Here getting like, landed really good because Jones is doing a good job pushing him back. He can't really sit on the feet and get a good liver shot in there. Last All right, who's going to land the best punches at the I end? I have a feeling they're going to throw him. Yep, here it comes. There they go. 
Well, I think Jones yeah. won that last 10 seconds. Yeah. I have no idea who won that fight. That was yeah, a, yeah. That's that's an interesting fight. fight. Yeah. What I started thinking at the end is, like, Jones would be a great offensive lineman. Right? Oh, yeah. He was you, pushing him around and doing all this stuff. But it's interesting, man. It's going to be a close one.